imagine how you'd react to the headline. Mutated coronavirus discovered, killing 30% of those infected. Smallpox was such a lethal virus, estimated to have killed 500 million people in its last century. But a massive international team effort defeated smallpox, completely eradicating it. And UNICEF estimates that this has saved close to 200 million lives so far. Today, to celebrate the 41st anniversary of the official eradication of smallpox, we grant the Future of Life Award to two heroes who critically contributed to this victory, Bill Fagy and Viktor Zhdanov. Viktor Zhdanov has been called the best person who ever lived by Oxford professor Will McCaskill for successfully persuading the World Health Organization to initiate an eradication campaign where the United States and the Soviet Union teamed up despite the Cold War. While serving as the Soviet Union's Deputy Minister of Health, Viktor Zhdanov persuaded naysayers, both at home and abroad, that the world could and should eradicate smallpox with a united effort, and arranged for the Soviet Union to donate 25 million doses of smallpox vaccine to kickstart the effort in developing countries. The World Health Organization accepted his proposal in 1959, and he lived to see smallpox officially eradicated in 1979. He passed away in 1987, and his award will be received by his sons, Viktor Zhdanov and Michael Bukrinsky, in his memory. Eradicating smallpox required not only audacity, but also solving the problem of insufficient resources for vaccinating everyone. While working for the Center of Disease Control in Africa as chief of the smallpox eradication program, Bill Fagey developed a highly successful surveillance and ring vaccination strategy, which has been described as applying water to the house on fire rather than the whole neighborhood. This greatly reduced the number of vaccinations needed, ensuring that the limited resources available sufficed to make smallpox the first infectious disease to be eradicated in human history. Bill Fagey and Viktor Zhdanov are true heroes who remind us of the power of science and international collaboration for tackling COVID-19 and future health challenges. Thank you both.